I really love the sound. It's very rich and full. There's pretty much endless possibilities with the combinations of sounds you can make. It's a very sort of, it can be very gripping or it can be soft and flute-like. I just thought it was just a really interesting instrument. It's so much bigger and you have to play with your feet too. The trombone. Noah Jacobs and Jillian Crodo are teens tackling organ lessons and falling in love with a mighty and complicated instrument. What's amazing about it is it's the king of instruments. It's the largest instrument on the planet, basically. And um, it can do things that no other instrument can do, from the very softest softs to the most incredible louds uh, that you'd hear. I'd love to talk about the Rallon Tondo because the, so right here there was a lot of it, which was really quite lovely, but then I think that it got forgotten in the pedal. And I think the most exciting thing about the organ is the diversity of tone color. If you think about the power you have under your fingertips and under your toes, I mean, you essentially have an entire orchestra at your fingertips when you play the organ. And it's really, it's a really thrilling thing to do. Bruce Adamai and Margaret Harper are both accomplished organists working on the seacoast and spreading their love for the instrument through the Young Organist Collaborative, a program that began at St. John's Episcopal Church in Portsmouth in 2001. The organ back here is 15 years old and was actually the catalyst for the starting of YOC. So um, the Sunday that this organ was dedicated, the Bishop of um, New Hampshire was here and he handed a check for $1,000 to the woman who was then the music director here, Diane Dean, and he said, it's your job to use this money to find young people to play this. And that was the start of YOC. Fifteen years later, and with more than 100 students in its history, the YOC is committed to spreading the love of an often underappreciated instrument. For me, it's the actual music, getting a chance to play the organ. Um, and just sort of gain control and mastery of this instrument. It's pretty incredible. Students audition to be in the collaborative. They must be able to play the piano and read music. Although once they're accepted, they quickly learn this massive instrument is no piano. It's a completely different world from the piano. There are, except for the black and white keys, which are laid out in roughly the same way, there are no similarities whatsoever. When you learn to play the piano, you're learning to, to um, basically push keys down like the organ, and you're learning to read music, um, two, two staffs of, of music on the piano. When you go to the organ, it's more complicated. There's additional music reading, there's another staff for your feet. Um, there are multiple keyboards on the organ. So, what does it take to be a promising organ player? I would say above all curiosity, because um, if you just sort of take what you're told, you only learn a little. But with the organ, there's so much to learn that the art of asking questions is incredibly important. The hardest part of the learning curve, everyone seems to agree, is the footwork. Think patting your head, rubbing your stomach, and ballroom dancing all at the same time.
most people get surprised by the degree to which you use your feet on this instrument. And it's, it's really um, very unlike the piano in terms of the, the number of, of pedals that we play. On the piano, there are three pedals. On most organ pedal boards, there are 32. So it's a orders of magnitude more complicated on the organ in terms of what we do with our feet. The YOC pairs students with teachers based on geography, and they are given free lessons for a year. They also have the benefit of meeting other kids who are exploring the same instrument. Usually at the beginning of the year, we do our organ field trip, and we, you know, we look at different organs, and uh, you take lessons throughout the year, and at the end of the year, usually in May, there's a recital, and everyone plays. The ages and ability levels within the collaborative vary greatly, and the teachers say that's okay by them. Every lesson is helping them realize their mission. The collaborative has a goal of introducing the pipe organ to as many young musicians as we can. And that might mean that, that the student will walk away from the process in a couple of years appreciating the organ, um, maybe really liking the literature for the organ, or maybe just respecting the complexity of the instrument. As for Noah and Jillian, it's clear their love affair with the pipe organ won't end here. I definitely want to continue playing, and I don't know if I'll play into college, but we'll see. I was originally studying to be a pianist in college, and one of the major selling points for me was the fact that as an organist, you can get a stable job. Their teachers are happy to pass on their passion for the instrument to a younger generation. Do you hear it? That's yeah. That glorious crunch right there, the, the D and the E flat. You're in control. I mean, it's like some people compare it to flying a jet plane because you have uh, essentially lots of those similar kinds of controls that you do um, flying an airplane. Um, and the only difference is we don't get paid nearly as much as pilots do.